All right, we, I, I, I've got some great news for you as we start by playing Repentance today. Um, you're going to love this, okay? Yesterday, Tainted Eve. Still had some stuff to do. Today, Tainted Eve is gone, man. Is gone. So remaining, things get very, very small. We have some Tainted Cain. We have some Tainted Jacob. We have some... Tainted Lost, we have some Tainted Eden, quite a lot of Tainted Eden, and we have some Tainted Lazarus. All pretty annoying, to be honest with you. <laughs> All pretty annoying. I'm gonna, okay, am I really gonna try Dark Path, Mega Satan, True Ending, Greedier, Delirium. God, that's just a cluster, man. All right. I, I feel like Eden is one of those characters where it's like... The the thing that annoys me about Tainted Eden is just that I don't actually feel like I'm playing the game. I feel like I'm just, like... Like, I'm, I'm just a vessel. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not the river that carries the raft. Like, I'm the, the raft being carried on the river. I have no control over where I'm going. Um... I, I never have a coherent kind of understanding of what I'm doing. I, uh, I'm i just a, a vessel for the game's RNG whims to, to work their way through, but so be it. Just don't get hit? Yeah, but what if my run sucks? If my run sucks, don't I want to get hit? That's, that's where the... the the very, very, very limited strategy, I think, um, comes in. I was talking about it before, but, like, I'm pretty sure this is an idea. I'm not saying I invented the idea of Tainted Eden, unless... Streamer invents Tainted Eden idea? Streamer came up with idea for Tainted Eden years in advance of it existing? Streamer invents Uber, all his friends laughed at him, but nobody's laughing now? Um, but I think I postulated the idea that wouldn't it be crazy to have an ultimate Zane character? And the idea is... Every time you get hit... Like, all items don't do what they say they're gonna do. And every time you get hit, all items change effects. Uh, I've realized now that Tainted Eden exists that I am an idiot. Just a stupid, uh, complete dummy. Uh, and actually that idea is bad and it sucks and uh, if I influence the creation of this character being Tainted Eden uh, or, or Tainted Eden having these mechanics then I apologize because it's it's so zany it crosses back over into like not zane. I also I got another bone to pick with Isaac playing Tainted Eve today bombed the donation machine 14 times to get enough money to buy birthright look it up uh, on the internet turns out tainted eve birthright no not implemented yet little surprising to me it was a little surprising um because of the fact that um you know you have a mechanic with tainted eve that makes a lot of sense to in my opinion at least Let's just try some light side, maybe angel deal stuff here. Um, to, to, to influence it, you know? Like, why, why not just have uh, all your Sumptorium familiars do double damage? All your uh, Sumptorium familiars have homing tears. All your Sumptorium familiars, you know, etc. Like, there's so many different possible mechanics. Instead, they're just literally not implemented at all what is this man saying some of you are not at this point in the post-it note yet and it shows it shows tell me you're not at this point in the post-it note without telling me you're not at this point in the post-it note i wouldn't expect you to understand sweetie gaming gaming top tier gaming do you know what it reminds me of whenever we shoot through the crack here you ever see that Twitter account that's like cursed animation frames? This is like a, a very um, niche thing. It's going to be hard to look up. But there is a Twitter account 
called Cursed Frames of Animation that takes pictures from uh, old cartoons where the animations don't have, you know, any coherence to them. Uh, and there's one that's like very, I don't want to say it's famous, but it's like infamous, uh, where dinosaurs break through a wall but the wall that they break through, like, the cracks from the wall go onto the floor so that it looks like they're... and, and the wall stays still, but it just kind of, like, locomotes outwards. And then, like... It, it's from G.I. Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, the guys start running away from the wall, but, like, his legs disappear while he's running away. That's what it reminds me of when I shoot through the cracks here. I saw that on a vine. Now we're talking. Dude, look at this. Yeah, the crack is in front of the objects. Like, it's, it's just a total disaster. You know what's funny, though? Because I saw that because there was, like... The, the original impetus for that was, like, a tweet from the Street Fighter cartoon where, like, DJ pops out of an elevator and he, he goes from, like, 6'5 to 3'1 in a second to sneak between, like, an average-sized dude's legs. And it, it actually took me... Like, probably 10 loops of the animation to figure out what was wrong. Like, that that's how not detail-oriented I am. Even on the dinosaur one, I had to look at it, like, really closely to be like... What the heck's going on with this? Like, why is this bad? And then when I looked at it, you know, for, I don't know, five minutes, then I was like, Ah, I see. <laughs> Okay, we have not been hit yet. I kind of hate Card Against Humanity uh, unless we get piercing shots of some sort, but... On the other hand, with with Membership Card, there's, there's some Pog to be had. I mean, I, I really don't want to play Tainted Eve more than is strictly necessary. Tainted Eden, I should say. So, uh... Just gonna keep it going for a bit here. I, I forgot my rate of fire is actually like horrendous, horrendous here. I'm not gonna shoot every poop, but I would just... I, I'm gonna shoot this whole row and I'm gonna hope that petrified poop shows up. I think petrified poop is like a 1 in 10 chance or something like that. Maybe not. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use one bomb, and we're gonna put it right in the center of the of the protractor. And then we're gonna use one bomb. We're gonna put it right in the center of the protractor. What? Is <laughs> literally nothing? Are you crazy? Use Robo Baby. Uh, the the cool thing about Robo Baby is that it doesn't uh work. It only shoots if there's enemies, and even then, it's kind of, like, unreliable. Well, we have enough money. We can at least look at what's going on in here. Babe, I'm gonna cereal. No, don't. Um, I this is pretty good. Mom's key. Let's send him. I, I haven't been hit yet. I'm like so paranoid about getting hit. What the heck? Superb Addery? Tell me you have no patience without telling me you have no patience. Tell me you uh, hate having fun without telling me you hate having fun. Hey, honey. Uh, oh, aren't you going to complain to the waiter? Uh, we ordered food half an hour ago, and uh, even our water hasn't even come out yet. Uh, honey, tell me you have no patience without telling me you have no patience. If we're gonna do Mega Satan, we don't want that. So just chill, man. Just just chill. Till the next episode. Kinda cringe, honey. You know what, it's, honey, it's because you're on TikTok all the time. Your attention span went down to zero. You can't even wait two hours for your, for your food anymore. Embarrassing. A little cringe. Um, 
Uh, okay, skus, skus, skus. Not the lady who takes 55 minute showers complaining about waiting more than an hour for a home cooked meal from a restaurant? Mmm, couldn't be me. Skus, 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 skus. No, forget skull battery. I don't even touch, man. Skull battery, that's for the birds. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Daryl. I look this. I look this waiter in the windows of his soul. And I said, I said, excuse me, sir, is our food still coming? You ever have to, is, is there a more passive aggressive question you are expected to ask in your entire life? Excuse me, garçon, I just wanted to, I know your whole job is like taking our order. Uh, and then bringing the food to our table. I just wanted to inquire if that's still happening here. And then they lie to you as well and go, uh... Because what you're, you're lying first. You're not inquiring whether or not the food is coming. What you're saying is bring the food out faster, please. Or I'm going to leave. Or at least be mad. And then, so there's lie number one. Lie number two is when the waiter then says, Oh, let me just go check with the kitchen. And then he just goes uh, to the back room and smokes a cigarette. And then he comes out and says, It should be any minute now, sorry. It's all... It's the, the whole food service industry is based on mutual white lies. How is everything? It's great. It's great, thanks. It's great. That also happens when I check the back in retail. I was trying to... The, the only place that I will ever ask or expect a retail employee to go to the back is a shoe store. Because the, the concept of a shoe store is stunning to me. That you have, like, almost every shoe in almost every size back there. What the hell is going on? It's like a, a shoe store is like an iceberg. You're really only seeing like 1% of it when you actually are up at the front, right? I'm always like, it, I feel like it's, like it's cereal, man. They will never have a size 12 New Balance. <laughs> but, and then they do. What's up with that, man? It's crazy. But I was laughing because uh, there was a, an employee at London Drugs, which is like a, a British Columbia pharmacy, which like most modern pharmacies pharmacies means it it also sells appliances and stuff like that um and they made a post on the vancouver subreddit oh here we go here we go that was like i work at london drugs please stop asking if we have any air conditioners in the back i promise we're not hiding them from you if we had them we would sell them to you that's our uh that's our job oh, hello daniel thank you for the raid thank you look at this look at this you versus the run that they told you not to worry about because if you get hit one more time, you're going to lose all these mechanics and have them be rerolled. As a result, there's no point in worrying about it. I, it is funny. You raided with a party of 597, Dan. So if you leave, then we can get to 596, which I feel like it's the ultimate sacrifice you have to make. Dude, huge growth soy milk? It's not so bad. <laughs> this one's for the 596. Exactly. Yo, a visual effect on, on uh, telepathy now? What's up with that, man? Anyway, I, I, I never asked for them to go to the back. I always assume... I don't even like to talk to a salesperson, which I know is like... It's peak millennial. But like, even if I'm specifically looking for something, if a salesperson comes around and is like, can I help you? I'm just like, I don't think so, no. I'd rather just leave the store and then like, you know, go to another one or buy it online. I know I talked about it 20 times before, but like, at, at least when you're buying like an appliance or something, you, you, you expect the salesperson to have some knowledge of, like, you know, the, the features of it, right? Like, don't don't bother me too much. I've already looked up all this stuff online and decided which one I'm going to get to begin with. But I do expect you, if I'm like, hey, where's the microwaves? You'll be like, over there, dummy. 
Um, but I, I always, it bothers me in a clothing store when people are like, you know, Hey, you, you finding everything okay? And you're like, yeah. It's just pants and shirts. The pants are over here and the shirts are over there. I got it under control. But I, I do remember one time, I think I, I must have been 18, because it was my first uh, summer after my freshman year of university. Uh, I, I was still figuring out how to be an adult. You know, like how adult interactions take place and stuff like that. And I, I was at Old Navy buying the hottest clothes of the season. And I remember I, I got a really cool shirt. And then the saleswoman came over and was like, Hey, are you finding everything okay? And I said, Hey, do you, are, could you recommend some pants you think would go with this shirt? And instantly I was like, Oh, this is not how things happen at this kind of store. Like, this is not, this is Old Navy where jeans are like $9.99. You do not ask for fashion advice here. She was so taken aback. She was like, I, um, uh, we gotta, there's pants like on the other side. And I was like, okay, thank you. I, I didn't realize that Old Navy is not the kind of store where, you know, Colin Firth would come out and say, you know, like, manners maketh man and then give me a perfectly tailored pair of bootcut jeans or something. Anyway. That's not almond milk. Even though it says milk on the side, that's not almond milk. That's buddy in a box, but I'll take it anyway. Bootcut. Dude, don't, this was like the last year before skinny jeans took over. And then slim fit is now the new the new normal. People were rocking boot cuts in the mid 2000s and then like polo shirts with baby blue horizontal stripes. That was the look and it's it's actually disgusting. Yo, Daniel, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, hey, don't don't insult polo shirts. Polos are still cool. But it's just solid color polos, not American Eagle horizontal stripes, okay? They're not cool. They're actually totally cool. I wouldn't expect you to understand, but when I wear my polo at the country club, everybody's like, that's the guy in the cool polo. And then they say, young man, where'd you get that polo? And I go, Old Navy. And they go, my word. I gotta leave my Brooks Brothers bubble. I'll tell you, can I, I, lads, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna blow up our spot, okay? Polos are a top tier shirt to wear if you're not in good shape, but if you flex every muscle in your torso, it kinda looks like you might be in good shape. It's the perfect shirt for that. You, I'm not even saying you're tricking other people, but you can trick yourself into being like, yo, I look, this shirt is tight in the sleeves. It makes it look like I have bulging biceps. And when I've, when I flex my chest, it's like, whoa, it's like the, it makes the perfect like masculine side profile. You can't see my, my nipples through the shirt. That's like a, it's a dream come true. I guess I'm just moving on here. I don't know what I'm doing on this run. You can do better than polos. Dude, they're, they, they're a coherent fashion choice for me, okay? They, they, I, I just feel right when I'm in a polo for sure. I feel so wrong when I'm in like, when Kate bought me that Supreme shirt, I was very grateful for it, don't get me wrong. But when I was wearing it out, I felt like the imposter among us, for sure. I was like, everybody that's looking at me knows that this is like... This is not me. <laughs> and like, I, I know streetwear is like supposed to be a little bit oversized. But I also have like, back and shoulder hair, so if I wear something that's oversized... There's like a, uh, I, I look like that photo of the, you know, the guy, 
in the war on terror that they it wasn't saddam but it was like one of saddam's lieutenants that they captured from a, a foxhole um and his his shirt has like a collar that's all blown out like around here that's like what i look like when i wear a shirt that's too large for me it's hard to look cool when like your back hair is on display a little chest hair you can make it work maybe but but the back hair is like it's a little too much what a reference ah you had to be there <laughs> Does Little Brim get homing tears inside of Star of Bethlehem? No. Okay. Good yes. No. Nailed it. So I, I'm just trying to like, I'm looking at this run and I don't know why I'm even looking at the run because it's like, it's in vain. But I know we, we got a few signposts and this is an important one. Genesis. Oh my God. It's the draft item. <laughs> so we'll, we'll draft all the items. And then we'll get hit and, and shuffle them all. Incredible. What an incredible option we have available here. Literally, um, well, no, it's not useless. Um, it has one use. The use is adding uh, several minutes to the length of the run. Well, great start. Also, I've completely rerolled my run immediately. Maybe that always happens with this. I don't know. Justice? Ju that's not too bad. What if you get Holy Mantle? Now you're talking. Don't accidentally walk into the beam of light for the love of God. Dude, what an incredible golden penny. What is that phallus bone in the back? Boom, 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 boom. All oh, right, we have to go light side on this one now too, right? Dark side will not work anymore. Okay, uh, of these items, this is the best, sadly. Um, honestly, give me this for the keys that we can use with justice. Prism's okay, but I think that Martin Luther is the, the better option here. The Act of Contrition. These are all pretty good, but give me this one. It doesn't matter. Like, they're all going to disappear anyway. That's really good. I got to be honest. Like, Gulp is sick if we can stick with it. Is that not Martin Luther? The, the, the note pinned to the church wall or something? I have no idea what's happening. This, tell me you're tainted uh, Eden without telling me you're tainted Eden. Dry baby, 2020. Again, these are like, <laughs> these are incredible items. <laughs> We're getting amazing item selections now, but you know, it's a sacred art. <laughs> time, time to reroll them. All right, I mean, this is an unbelievable run. Wow, that also basically could not have turned out better. <laughs> but again, we get hit one time, it's over, man. If we get hit one time, we no longer have access to this run. But what an incredible dude! I, I mean, it just goes to show you. I love Genesis. Like, look at the, look at the quality of that. If we could just get like the dream now, Angel Deal. Holy Mantle would really hit the spot. Just play it like you're playing The Lost. I want to say something snarky. Like, oh yeah, that's that must be my my problem. That's why it's so hard to win is like Tainted uh, Lost. is because I'm playing Tainted Lost as if they're uh, any other character in the game. Get, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Your thoughts create your reality, but you already knew that. I 
God, I love that video. This is the ultimate difficult room, but that's okay. Is the woman getting scared real? I don't like here's the thing. If if that's a a preordained scripted video, it's actually one of the funniest videos that's ever come to pass. We now have received the birthright. What does this mean? Everyone in chat was like, this is top tier. One run, one run. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Your items are now locked. Get get bent, get effed. Only new items reroll now. Suck on that. <laughs> no. Dude, now we gotta do... Hold on, we can't make boss rush. We're way too late for boss rush. Forget true ending. We go light side. Angel statue, and we hope to get delirium as well. Blue key lets you go to hush. I'll take it with me just in case. But I, I, I mean, I guess I should. I mean, what's more valuable, delirium or mega Satan? They're probably delirium. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now that I thought about it for two seconds, it makes a good point. We need to look. The damage from this doesn't matter that much, so we take that. Um, just in case we still want to go light side. We get the heck out of here. We've already beaten Hush, but in order to guarantee delirium, we have to... We have to fight uh, Hush to get there. But I am also like, what if we just did Mega Satan, the full light side, and delirium? Like, that almost appeals to me more. Yeah, let's just... What if we just win the 50-50? I think we should go for it. I think we should go for the 50-50. Cuz even in, in the 50% chance that it doesn't work, we still got the entire light side done, which is worth something. Forget that. I don't need that trash item. Get out of here. You're garbage, garbage. Plus, I don't know why. I've just got a feeling it's going to work out anyway. Because there's no such thing as a coincidence. Someone in chat said earlier while I was teasing apart mechanics. They said, did you see that that lady gave an interview? Um, where they asked her why she was afraid and she said human instinct. It's a great answer. Oh, the guy said that? He said that's why she was afraid of him. That was a reply to a comment. I don't know, man. Look, I'm obviously clearly lost here. I've I've now I, I prepared for a, a difficult run where I couldn't focus on anything, and now I can focus on absolutely everything. And it's made it so I can't focus on anything, you know what I mean? Know what I mean? Well, what do you got there? Oh, look at this. Doesn't work. That's a bop. Isn't it? What? How does it make a moo sound like that? Uh. It's got it's got to be like the same uh, principle that like deer calls work on. Then I'm not blowing any air into it. Mm, it is, some of them are just shakeable. They're just shakeable. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it, it's pretty cool. Um, I did see someone in chat ask, "Did you see the lady?" with the sign at the Tour de France who made everybody crash. Yeah, um, I did see that, and she should be in jail forever, in my opinion. Not because what she did um, necessarily caused so much harm that she deserves to spend the rest of her life incarcerated. However, um, 
because it was so stupid and preventable that she should be made an example of for everyone else in humanity, in my opinion. What did she do? Um, when the Tour de France started, she popped out of the gallery with a sign that said, like, Go Grandma, Go Grandpa, uh, facing the camera away from the peloton. One of the uh, cyclists crashed into her because her sign was, like, three feet out into the road, and then every cyclist behind them crashed into the cyclist that fell over, and then it just spread backwards until, like, almost the entire... Uh, Almost the entire uh, series of competitors had fallen over. Did they restart? Hell no. <laughs> What's next? A license to make toast in my own damn toaster? Okay, we're going light side. We're going light side and we're hoping for the best. Somebody broke both of his arms there. It's crazy, man. Plus 20 luck is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Why not do hush? I mean, like, I, you gotta acknowledge here, like, I literally explained it ad nauseum, like, less than, I don't know, 120 seconds ago, including all of my methodology and, like, you know, answering questions from the chat. I was on Twitter then? All right, then keep your mouth shut. <laughs> relax then just to get entertained can't show up like you know 15 minutes late for class and then be like hey sorry can you go over the start of the lesson again just take your c minus and and move on anyway yeah i heard she fled the country which is honestly um both a coward's move and also like I mean, what else are you gonna do? I mean, you have now, you've become the, the villain for the entire world for at least a couple of days. So wh what do you do? You gotta do something, I guess. By the way, this is just because it came up again. Why not do Hush and then go light side anyway? Because this, this thing here is an indication that we have completed Hush with this character, okay? That, that little marker right there means that we have done Hush as that character. Thank you, Peepo G. Thank you. Isn't it kind of sad, though, that just for doing that, she's become such a villain? No. Um, and I can understand, like, because I think online, um, you can signal emotional depth to uh, other people by caring about monsters because they're people too. Um, but she literally just did like a totally preventable, uh, idiotic thing for attention, and she got attention. She 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 got what she wanted out of it. Caused physical harm, not to mention you know like ruining several people's like races that is literally like their entire existence um but but also caused physical harm to the people involved all for what so she could get a little media attention well guess what lady uh, exactly a, a finger curls on the on the monkey's paw <laughs> now the media can't stop talking about her I guess I care about intent more than consequences. So you're saying, like, she didn't set out there to injure 20... Oh, no. She didn't set out to injure 20 professional athletes and break their arm. She just, you know, stood out in front of uh, a bunch of professional cyclists, and then when they fell over, she was like, oh, I meant to kick your phone. By the way, the, the, the greatest reroll of all time here... Sorry, when I held that enormous sign out in front of the cyclists, I didn't expect them to, like, clip it and fall over. 
Oh, well, in that case, here's your, uh, here's your knighthood. I believe she should be shamed for the rest of her life. Yo, that's pretty messed up. Yo, I thought I was the only, uh, I thought I was the only monster. That's pretty messed up, man. <laughs> that's, that's freaking cold. I mean, I said she should be incarcerated forever, but shamed for the rest of her life? Hello, Daniel, by the way. Dan, I gotta say, okay, and this is, I'm leaking my own message from the Discord. I expected more than lowercase lol when I linked you to that picture of Dr. Disrespect in the in the crowd at the Phoenix Suns game holding on to his tack vest. I was happy with the lowercase lol, but I, I, I thought I might get like an all caps Lamau or something. I knew it was him. <laughs> Let's go! What did I tell you? It's coming home. It's coming. Nah, uh has appeared in the basement. Wild card. Oh, uh, reverse. Uno reverse has appeared in the basement. I did see someone in chat say I could see me hitting someone with my sign just out of a lack of spatial awareness. You really, if, if you haven't seen the video, you really should watch it because I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit. It really was not a situation where this lady was like, oops, I was a little bit into the, into the road. Like, she was like, she leaned, she stood on the road. Like, I, I understand that, you know, I think it's good that we, uh, Joker Voice, live in a society uh, where we actually consider, like, context for people's actions instead of just being, like, you know, send them to the, the public stocks. But this is, like, one of the cases where she's, like, a bad person. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's as bad as the Lady IMO who, like, threw the chair off the condo window in, uh, or the condo balcony in, in Toronto, is literally, like, a, a non-productive move done solely for attention that could... I mean, she probably wouldn't have gotten anybody killed with the bike stuff, with the bike sign, but she could have done some serious injuries and, and did, apparently, but... Literally, like, the lowest... The, the highest risk to lowest reward equation you could possibly fathom. Well, we got 43 damage down, but that's okay. I will not reroll this whole run. You'd, you'd have to be silly. Hold on. Death card gives us Book of the Dead for a room. He's learning. I will say it is it is a hilarious clip. But that's... I, I don't endorse her actions. It's just fun to watch people fall over. It's just, a, it's just universally true. I wish it wasn't funny. But I have to be honest. It's hilarious. And it's annoying. Because I really think that it's... It's like almost genetically programmed. Into the human mind. Otherwise, why do so many cultures across history have humor that's exclusively, like, related to people falling over? I don't think she did it on purpose, but she should still be held accountable. Not all... Nobody, nobody cares about whether she... Like, if you take an act of, of negligence to the point that it causes other people uh, physical harm, the fact that you're like, oh, I didn't mean to hit him with the sign and break both of his arms. It just happened as a result of my lack of attention. That's still... It's, 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 I, I don't know what to say. 
Anyway, easiest run of my life. Corrupted data. All right, corrupted data. <laughs> How do dude tainted Eden? We have unlocked a lot there. That's that's a big win. Slash marker. Tainted Eden, big win. 